Hello and welcome to Budget with Brian and in our continuation of looking at Zoquan uh, products we have a laser distance measure. Uh, sometimes they're called range finders, I like to think of them as a laser tape measure. Uh, this one comes in at an incredible price, £35 and we're going to take a look at it now. But before we do that, if you're not already a subscriber, please do hit that subscribe button and the bell. It really helps us promote our videos and get the chance to review more of these types of products. So let's see what you get in the box. Let's do an unboxing. So before we do an unboxing, this device comes in three different flavors or sizes, if you like. It comes in a 50 meter one at about 30 pounds. It comes in a 70 meter one, which is this one at 35 and 100 meters at 42. Now just to give you a bit of a comparison uh, in the Bosch range, Bosch have a GLM 50 at 116. So is that 85 pounds more expensive for the same kind of device? That's a big price difference if you're just buying on name alone. I'm gonna show you this now uh, and I think you'll see that um, it is really a very competitive device. So what do you get in the box? Let's have a look. So again, this is the 50 meter one. You get a little thank you card, which is nice, thank you. You get batteries, it comes with batteries. That's again, a nice touch. The device itself, which we'll come to in a moment. Then under the little plastic tray, you've got the instruction manual, which yes, you might need, it's got a lot of features in here. So yes, you might need to go through that. It comes with a nice little case, nice touch also comes with a little lanyard, which I would, I would agree is an important thing. And one of these reflective cards, don't underestimate how useful this is when you're trying to target something over that 50 meters, that 100 meters, this is incredibly useful because it will help you get that measurement. So don't throw this away, you need it. Uh, it fits, the, it'll fit inside that case, keep it, don't lose that. Okay, let's clear these things away and get to the device itself. I'm gonna zoom in. Okay, so here it is. We'll have a quick walk around it first before we turn it on. This is the, as I say, the CS70, it's the 70 meter version. Here we have the this nice big display. It's got a bright backlit, uh, uh, backlight to it, which is good. Uh, different to quite a few of these types of devices that I see, it does have some little spirit levels in there. Um, I'm interested in your comments below and how you would use that. I don't think I'd use this as a spirit level on its own. So that's the front panel. Uh, moving to the side, not too much to talk about. Uh, nothing really to talk about on the back other than there's the battery cover. And uh, yeah, it, there's the front uh, and there's the bottom of it. So a very simple little device, but the, the useful thing is that it has this nice boxy shape. Why, why would you say that that is useful? And the reason is, is because you want to be able to line it up against things so that you can take your measurement. Okay, so let's turn it on. Just a simple button there. You have uh, a number of places where you can measure or take measurement from. And this is this button here. So either the front of it or the back. You've got a power indication and a list of some of your previous measurements that you've taken. The part that we're probably already in, really interested in is how accurate this type of device is because if it's all well and good doing how to take a measurement but is it an accurate measurement something you can trust and that's really where I guess some of these unknown brand names might raise a concern but in my experience not with this brand. So the test that I'm going to set up, it's going to be a repeatable test, is just to measure the depth of the uh, countertop here to the wall. And that uh, will give us a very repeatable and accurate measurement, both with a tape and with this laser measure itself. So just for reference, I've just put a post-it note up there, or I should really call it a sticky piece of paper, shouldn't I, before someone tells me that that's a brand name. I've put it there just so that you can see where the, the wall is because it's, you know, it's white and it's white. So the, here's the edge of the countertop. There's the post-it note. And first of all, I'm going to measure that with this Milwaukee 
tape. Uh, I have done a review of this tape before and uh, I'll link it here. I didn't like it. Um, but you know, you can look at that video and find out why in there. So I will measure this out. Now let's have a little look see. Let's get the camera right on that so we can see. Now I don't know about you, that's looking to me to be six, seven, three. I'm going to call that 673 on the Milwaukee. As an additional reference, I have this no named tape as well. So I'll just measure that out, see if I get the same. I do. In actual fact, that might come out at 674 on this one. Let's have a look. Six, seven, four on this tape. That's interesting. What are we getting on this one again? Six, seven, three. That's quite interesting. Which one's right? Okay, and then the final test. Let's have a look at the laser tape here. Let me get uh, right in. Get right over it. Now I am doing this from the same position. So I get it lined up. I, I want it to be very close to the edge because of course I was able to put my tape on there. Yeah, I'm happy that that is on there. Let's just get that piece of paper back up on in line. So we're all measuring to the same. Okay, here's the big test. Oops. Six, seven, three. The same as the Milwaukee. Uh, I want to make that clear. That is right on the edge. There's been no shenanigans. And it has measured that absolutely correctly. I'm going to press the button again. Oh, my piece of paper's fallen off again. Six, seven, three. Personally, I'm very happy with the result of that. I know it's only one little test, but nonetheless, it is out of the box, first time using accurate. So I just want to go through uh, a few of the extra buttons here. We've got um, one of the things that's really useful about this type of uh, uh, laser tape. If you press and hold, it keeps on taking readings. So you can move you know, bit by bit, the device, and it will continue to take readings. That's a nice feature. Just stop that. So uh, yeah, that's 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 a nice way of uh, being able to measure uh, in the same way that you sort of do with a with a regular tape. The you also have the uh, uh, plus and minus uh, feature on here. So if you're adding up uh, lengths, you know, we can press that, press the plus. Uh, take another reading, there we go, 1348, and if I press the minus and take that, come on, there we go, 675. So um, that that type of feature works very, very nicely. If I press and hold, you can change the units to meters uh, uh, into inches. Oops. There we go, I'll just cycle through those so you can see all the different ones. There we go, and back to meters. And back into inches. I'm gonna cycle back through to meters. There we go. And that's the three decimal points, so that's down to, down to millimeters, which is a nice way of showing it. You can also calculate with this button, it allows you to just walk through. It will show you all of the different items that you can measure the size of. And finally, there's a clear and off button. 
All in all, I'm really pleased with this device. It, uh, it comes in at exactly the right price it should do. Uh, it's got all of the features that you want to use and none of the ones you won't. Uh, and uh, the added advantage of it coming with a nice little case, a lanyard, the reflective card, a set of batteries and a comprehensive manual really do make this uh, a great uh, little package uh, to uh, pick up. So uh, if you're at all interested in those, there's links below where you can pick them up. And as always, we are on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and don't forget, subscribe!